So welcome back. Today we're going to talk about dust mopping. We're big proponents of vacuuming everything, but there are instances where we've got to break out the dust mop. Um, a lot of us say we got to go old school and dust mop everything. So let's talk about first the tools we're going to use. As you can see here, there's a lot of different types of dust mops. There's different sizes. You can get them really large. You can get them super small. For us, these are the ones we usually use. This is a 32 inch mop with a frame. So this frame is actually gonna slide into these dust mops. It's a little more of a permanent situation. So we're using this in an area that I'm not taking it on and off a lot. And now as we come this side, these are, as you can see, similar, but these dust mops have a Velcro on the back. So these are for areas like in a medical facility. Um, if you're into a patient room where you're using one per patient room, these come off very simply and you can reuse them. So this is a simple Velcro on. As I'm done, I use it once and this can go into a linen hamper. Very simple here. Same thing for these larger areas here. And again, as you can see, there's two different types of fiber technology. You have the old school fiber here and this slides on a lot different. And then you have the fringe with the microfiber on this item and this item. So this is a slide on dust mop. And again, this is for more permanent type environments. So if I'm gonna use it every day, let's say in a warehouse space or um, even maybe a medical office or an office building that has long hallways that really don't get dirty. So I don't need to change it every single day. There's no infection control concerns about it in the hallway. This is a frame, not as simple as just Velcro on and off. These slide in like this and then it will attach. Now I see a lot of people leaving them like this and then the frame fly or the dust mop flies right off as you're cleaning it and you don't understand why. And then they're like, well, I just don't like using that. We're gonna push it all the way through as you can see here. And then this has a lock. So this actually comes around the backside and it will lock it in and then it won't move as you can see. Then they attach to this type of handle. These have a two couple different features. You have a feature where it will swivel so that will enable you to do like a figure eight pattern if you're dust mopping. Um, honestly, it's kind of the same method that you use as a squeegee on a window. And then it also has a locking mechanism where you'll make it so it won't swivel. Very simple, pull it up, it'll swivel, push it down, and it's locked in place. Again, this will fit on this type of dust mop. You'll hear it lock, and then you're good. As you notice though, Another thing that I usually see is that these are either put on backwards and then people are well, hitting the floor. And what I mean by that is they'll put it this way and then every time it hits the floor, it hits the floor or it picks up the front of the dust mop. So if you're looking at this the proper way, when you're actually pushing this in front of you, you wanna see this circle. So this circle is gonna push on, clasp down, and then as you swivel, you'll see that circle and you'll know, okay, that's where I need to be. You can go down and hit it with your foot if you don't want it to move and you'll still see the circle facing up. And then that will work properly. Pull back out, unclip it, and you can put this to the side. Um, this, as you can see, we get these from a linen company here locally in Riverside. And this is the exact same method, but you'll notice this has a little bit more openings. This comes out. Again, we're talking microfiber versus just regular fibers here. This fits in the same, same theory as the other one. It just makes it a little bit more difficult sometimes because it can have a tendency to push this way. And then you're not protecting the floor as much as you probably could be. So I always push them down and through all the way in. And as you can see here, you can see the thing sitting up. And then again, clasp on the side. So for us to dust mop properly, of course, we need to know all of our tools. The only other thing we haven't talked about here is how do I push this dust mop? Well, if you're working in a medical facility, this is something you've seen in a, a lot of. These just clip in 
And another reason why this technology is a little bit faster for us to use, I can switch between this small dust mop here into this large dust mop by just literally pushing this, popping it out and putting it onto here. And I can use the same handle. These are a little bit more effective as far as speed and ease of use. These are a little bit more effective when you're laundering them, either yourself or laundry service has them because you just clean them a lot faster and they don't weigh as much. So they don't cost as much to, to launder. So, so we have two different sizes. We've got, you know, a 32 and then we've got a little 18. Again, both of these, I can literally go from a patient room or a small environment and then I can go back into my hallway and not have to have two poles or anything like that. So let's take into consideration a couple things and let's review what we've learned here. So we've got these type of dust mops with the frame. You also have you know, your microfiber technology here, but these are more for an industrial type of environment, maybe just a regular office space. And then we come onto this side. These here are more for a medical, medical office, um, you know, even operating room, you know, pre-dusting before you actually mop the floors, things like that. So when you're dealing with dust mopping, having of course the right tool will go a long way and will be successful if you know what you're doing. And again, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. Um, again, thank you to our members. Uh, you're getting exclusive content that you're probably not seeing here. So again, if you have any comments, questions, go ahead and, and put them below and we'll be sure to answer your questions. Uh, watch for my next video about how to actually dust mop like a pro. All right, thank you.